So a lot of people ask me, uh, why do I support Israel? Well, it's basic history. It has uh, it has nothing to do with religion. Uh, it has it has nothing to do with um, with any bias opinion that I may have. It's simply the truth. There was, you know, if anyone can prove to me that Palestine was a nation at any point in history, I will apologize right here, right now. Heck, like I said, I'd, I'd, I'd even become a Muslim. If anyone on the planet can prove to me that Palestine, the nation, was invaded by the Jews, I, will, I, I apologize right now. But no one can do that. And, and so, all of a sudden, people are, are paying attention to what's happening in Gaza. And yes, I, I fully denounce war, you know, because war is, is, is never a good thing. But it is the nature of war. There are no rules in war. Hamas does not think of any rules. If they had, if they had the slightest chance... To kill every single Jew in the world, they wouldn't hesitate. In the world, if they wanted to really like cause a, a, a brand new Holocaust, they would do that. And frankly speaking, I feel like the Jewish nation is the only reason why Sharia law and Islam. It's not all over the U.S. as well. I mean, you have to understand the way Islam spread was almost strictly by the sword. The way Christianity was spread, like biblical Christianity is, I mean, come on. All you have to do is just read the, the New Testament and just find out how each and every one of the uh, apostles what their fate was they were all they were they were all murdered i think besides one apart from that every single one of them went to different parts of the world to preach the gospel and they were killed islam is different islam is they will kill you if you don't accept it now i'm not talking about all of them but what i'm trying to say is all of them have this is it Islam in, inherently is is a violent religion. There's no peace with them. You cannot coexist with them unless they exist alone, unless they are supreme over every single religion in the world. That is the only reason how they they, they they'd accept uh coexisting with anybody else. That's just the truth. <clears throat> so going back to the to the Gaza Israel war. It's it's horrible. I denounce it. It's horrible. So but 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 what I'm, what I'm trying to say is this may be an inside job. How, how, how did the how did Hamas just go into Israel and kill a bunch of people? Okay. I, I will grant to you that this may be an inside job. But then again, the Palestinians never miss a chance to kill a Jew. So 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 the fact that Israel left the doors open does not mean that Pal that that the Palestinians are, are 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 no longer at fault. Just because you leave the door open to your home does not mean that someone can just go in and burglarize your entire home and kill your entire family. If I see a door that's open, I'm not going to go in there. Especially knowing that there will be a rep a repercussion. Especially knowing that there that there will be some some sort of um how you say um <clears throat> I like I'm, what I'm trying to say is um what's the word I know I know I know that the homeowner is going to defend himself is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, I couldn't think of the I I, I couldn't think of the word I'm looking for. 
So that's exactly what, what I'm just trying to say. If I see a door open in the middle of my neighborhood, I'm not, I'm, I, why, why, why do I need to go in and, and kill everybody in that house and, and burglarize the house just because the door is left open? So the, so the door might have been left open, you know, um, because the, the homeowner knew that I would go in. Okay, so 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 that that's exactly what, what I'm trying to say. You know, most Palestinians support Hamas. Most, not all, but most. This is a war. And this is how how war works, evidently. And I'm really sorry about about the the innocent civilians. I'm really sorry, but this is a war. When Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, the way the U.S. retaliated was a hundred times worse, a thousand times worse. And I'm not just talking about the atomic bombs. I'm talking about the Tokyo raid, where 60,000 people were killed in, in one shot. This is war. If you don't want war, don't attack another country. Israel is a sovereign country. Israel is not a, is not apartheid. Why? Because Israel is a sovereign country with borders. This is the reason. I challenge anyone to 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 debunk me and t and tell me that I'm lying. You know, if you want if you want a, a brief history on the conflict, I will give you. A, I, I'd give you. I happily give you a history lesson before forty eight. It was the British Empire. Before the British Empire, it was the Turkish Empire. So yes, the land was known as Palestine, as a geographical area, not a nation. Why? Because before 48, both Jews and Arabs living there were called Palestinian. So they get, so so in a so an uh, an American could have been could have been in 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 Palestine. He would be known as a Palestinian. Palestinian, the Arabs took the word Palestinian after forty eight. They kept the title. Jews dropped it. Each and every single time that the Arabs have been offered a two state solution, they have said no. They will always say no because they want the whole land. So you can't have peace with these people. You just can't. So that's, that's what I want to say. I mean, I, I, I would love to have a debate with anyone about this. And yes, you can, you can, like Ben Shapiro said, you can stand on the grave of all the dead Palestinian children and use that as an argument. My, my, my response to that is, this is a war. This is what happens in a war. The Palestinians attacked and killed like 1,500 Jewish people, civilians, men, women, and children, and animals. And what do they expect to happen? That, that Israel is going gonna, is gonna to stand there with arms crossed? This is a war. There was never a nation called Palestine. If anybody on the planet can prove to me that Palestine was a nation and it was invaded by the Jews, I'll become a Muslim. I will apologize. I will denounce Israel. So that's my challenge to anyone on, in, in the world. I can't, I, like, and, and it just so happens that the only people who are against Israel, the, the only people who hate Israel are Muslims and 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 left wingers people who don't even believe in god give me a give me a scholar give, give me peer reviewed publications about the history of palestine the nation then we're talking not when we have a bunch of activists and a bunch of zealots who who kill and maim people because you don't agree with them that is my point Good night.